the day. This is Ms. Tavisum. Today I am here to revise Nozin Mustafa's A Girl's Incredible Journey from Syria. So let's get started. Now here goes the characters of Nozin Mustafa's A Girl's Incredible Journey from Syria. Nozin Mustafa is the author of A Girl's Incredible Journey from Syria who was born in Manbi, Syria in 1999 with cerebral palsy and is physically challenged. Nasreen and Nahada are the elder sisters of Nuzin. Uncle Ahmed is the one who drives the boat which he learned by studying YouTube videos. Aunt Shireen is Nuzin's aunt who lost all her valuables when the sea waves tossed their boat. Mahmood is the cousin of Nuzin. Abdullah Kurdi was a barber who was moving from Cobain and were hoping to start a new life in Germany. Rehana is the wife of Abdullah Kurdi. Ghalib and Ailan is the son of Abdullah Kurdi. Mrs. Rihana Abdullah Kurdi, Ghalib and Ailan perished in the sea as their dinghy was overturned by huge waves. Abdullah Kurdi stayed in water for three hours searching for his family but was in vain. Here goes the summary. When the war began there, Nuzin was forced to flee from her country, Syria. Despite her physical limitations, she embarked on the arduous trek to safety and a new life. She was among 38 people who was in a small boat known as Dinghy. They had to cross the sea to an island. Nuzin was in a wheelchair. Nasreen, Nuzin's elder sister, was taking care of her and holding her wheelchair straight. The people in the dinghy were sleep deprived under the hot sun and had nothing to drink. Few of Nuzin's relatives had been shot in the war. Nahada, that is Nuzin's other elder sister, was taking care of her four children. Uncle Ahmed was trying to drive the boat in a worried manner as he had learned to drive the boat through YouTube videos for the last two days while staying in a hotel in Izmir. The sea was not calm the day they started their voyage. So, Nozin's cousin started retching. The boat was being tossed by the huge sea waves. Four boats had left the shore together. The first one was overturned quickly. The second one overturned close to the island. The other was picked up by the Turkish coast guard. Nuzin mentioned about a Kurd barber Abdullah and his family, whose dinghy was flipped by huge waves. Except Abdullah himself, all the other family members were drowned in the sea. Finally, Nozin and others reached the island. Now, while in Germany, Nozin got an opportunity to attend school. Yet, in spite of the tremendous physical hardship she endured, Nozin's extraordinary optimism never wavered. She wrote her A Girl's Incredible Journey from war torn Syria in a Wheelchair in 2016. A Girl's Incredible Journey from Syria is a unique and powerful memoir that gives voice to the Syrian refugee crisis, helping us to understand that the world must change and offering the inspiration to make that change reality. Here we have reference to the context. He is an innocent boy. He is in heaven and happy now. Who is the speaker here? Answer. 
Nozin Mustafa is the speaker here. Who is the innocent boy referred here? Answer. The innocent boy is Island Kurdi. What happened to the innocent boy? Island drowned in the sea when their boat was overturned by the huge sea waves. Now, here are some in-text questions. First, who is the author of A Girl's Incredible Journey from Syria? Answer. Nozin Mustafa is the author of the book titled A Girl's Incredible Journey from Syria. Second, when and where was Nozin Mustafa born? Answer. Nozin Mustafa was born in Manbi, Syria in 1999. Third, name Nozin's elder sisters. Answer. Nahda and Nasreen are Nozin's elder sisters. Fourth, why were the people in the boat spaced out? Answer. The people in the boat were spaced out because they had little sleep and being in the hot sun with nothing to drink. Number 5. What did Aunt Shireen lose and how? Answer. Aunt Shireen lost her bag with all her valuables when a huge wave tossed their boat. Next, what is Hippocampus? Answer, Hippocampus is a mythical sea horse. Seventh, who is Poseidon? Answer, Poseidon is the god of the sea in Greek mythology. Eighth, who was Abdullah Kurdi and where was he going with his family? Answer, Abdullah Kurdi was a barber and he was going to Germany with his family. That's all for the day. I hope you well understood the summary of this chapter. Read the lesson very carefully. If you have any doubts, feel free to call me. Thank you. Have a great day ahead.